Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome to a brand new episode of Minecraft Survival. And for some reason I feel like there's something I've not done. Yes, I knew there was something I hadn't done, I knew it! So guys, in the last episode we talked about where I'd been, what's been going on with me, sort of like just generally some stuff and we also talked about the lore. If you remember we talked about this particular piece of lore in this chest. The very first death of this series. You know, basically, I was mining, I dug a hole for myself where I got some coal and some um, iron from, creeper fell down, creeper blew me up. I very over the top dr dramatized it in this little story here. If you actually want to know what this is all about and where the lore comes from, go and watch the last episode. It's the latter half of the last episode. First half is an update, the second half is sort of like what happens after that. So, what I want to do this episode is I want to immortalize Casey, the first hero of our village. So, I am going to want some stuff. Now, I want to apologize that there was no videos yesterday. There should have been. Uh, I sat down to record yesterday. And uh, I got about, uh, I don't know, about halfway through a stone block, some stuff I was doing on stone block between episodes, and then I just started feeling really yucky. So I thought, oh, you know what, sometimes I feel like that in the morning, I'm going to go lay down. And so I went to lay down for a bit, and I just didn't feel any better. And I went to bed last night, and I could have sworn, I would have bet my life, <laughs> that I was going to wake up feeling dreadful. I can't remember the last time I felt as bad as I did last night. But then I woke up this morning and it's like, I've got so much energy right now, it's totally unreal. <laughs> I am uh, just sort of bouncing around. Let's make some, some of those, let's make some more of those actually. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making some really cool stuff. And I think I want to use a case of wood. Oh, I only have eight, do I only really have 44 blocks? do. So I guess I've got my first task of today. Going and getting some acacia wood. Or acacia or acacia. However you want to pronounce that. Different people tend to pronounce it differently. So yeah, this episode what I want to do is I want to I want to I want to get, should we say just two stacks should be enough. So I would like to get myself a gravestone. A grave marker for KC. Now there is actually a data pack that you can put in in your Minecraft world that allows you to get gravestones. I saw Exuma sort of um, hyping it up on, on one of his videos. So I don't know if I'm going to add that in or not. That seems a little bit cheaty to me. I mean, there's no cheaty way to play Minecraft. Let's just be honest. First of all, I'm not saying that if you choose to do that, you are cheating. Because I thoroughly believe you should play a game the way you have fun playing in a game. You know, I play Minecraft what's fun for me. I play... Um... Have a, have a leaf. Yeah, so I play Minecraft what's fun for me. I play it how I enjoy playing it. And I play it how I have fun playing it. And you should play Minecraft however you the hell you have fun playing it. I don't have fun playing creative all that much, so I play survival. I like the idea of going and mining my resources. But some people don't. They enjoy playing getting creative. And that's fine. That's not cheating. You know. So yeah. I'm going to give some a case of wood, and when I've got enough, I'll come back to you guys, and we can start building this grave marker. It's going to be like a little monument, like a little mausoleum. So yeah, back in the mouth. Well, burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno! <laughs> so I've got ahead and got that. Uh, we've got to fix this because skeletons keep hiding in, in this particular part of, the, of these builds. I'm not going to worry about them bones. I have way more bones than I'll ever need. Well, no, I don't, but still. I've got a skeleton farm. It's fine. Okay, so this is where the hero Casey is going to be laid to rest. These two blocks here. And we may put a gravestone up there, but... um. The first thing that I want to do is I want to create the sort of like the markers for this, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now this doesn't exactly center here, 
But that's fine. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now this is going to go up five. Oh no, it's going to go up four, sorry. I think. I may have got this slightly wrong. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and now... Oh, really? Okay, so we are, we are actually going to go up with pillars at the side like so. So that's fine. And right now it just looks like this big wooden monstrosity. But that's okay. It'll look a little bit better in time. In time. So there's that. Um, yep, and then we want one in the middle here. Another one right here. And then another one right here. Okay, there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we are going to make these in to the stripped bark log, which I actually kind of like. Okay, very simple. Oops, that's not supposed to be stripped. And we are going to add to this as we go along, okay? So there we go. Ta-da! And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this out. And we are going to put this actually... Nope, that's wrong. Just joking about. I'm going to steal World's Night saying that. Just kidding. Uh, we're going to put this here like so. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to make ourselves some bark block. And we're going to replace these two with the bark block. Although I'm just thinking about this now. Oh, that's fine. That green goes up. That's good. And then I want to do the exact same like right here. So we'll get rid of you, you, bark, block, bark, block. Yeah, cool. Okay, oh, I forgot cobblestone. There's always something you forget. Okay, no, that's actually not what I wanted. Uh, you can do that, yes, cool. Let's make ourselves a crafting bench. So I actually haven't seen very much of the, uh, the new update, the pillager and villager update. I've not seen that much of it. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to sort of create like a little um, archway here, like so, like that. Hmm. Yep, that's good. And then I want to do the exact same thing right here. Now this is, oh no, 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 no. Where the hell did he come from? He must have walked all the way down there just to ruin our day. He must have. He was like, I'm going to ruin your day. And he ruined our day. Uh, let's get this torched up a little bit. Give me those back. Give me my stuff back. Stop nicking them. Okay, I'm going to have to fill this hole in and get some more get some cobblestone. This is all torched up. He must have literally walked down here just to ruin our day. Okay, I'm going to get some cobblestone. I'm going to... Fill that hole in and I'll be back in a moment. So we're back and I completely forgot to fill in the hole. Okay. My bad. I hear a skeleton but I'm not quite sure where he is. He's not in there, I've checked. Maybe there's a cave system beneath us. Okay. He sounds like over here. He's got to be in a cave system. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some of these here. Like so. And I think I'm going to do the exact same thing on these corners as well. I wasn't going to do these corners at first, but now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking, yeah, you know what? It'll probably look pretty good. So let's get these corners done. Ah, oh, man, I... I'm so heavy handed when it comes to playing games. I quite often end up leaning on other buttons that I don't mean to. So let's just put this here. Like so, and then like so. Like so, and I did not put the... Okay, who whose idea was it to let me forget that? Who let me forget to put these in, eh? Hey, who was it? Come on. Come on, who was it? Tell me. Tell me. Okay, so let's get these in. And then we can actually get back to putting these in. In the proper places. And uh, like so. And then we can go like so. Like so, and like so. Okay. 
and pop that there, pop that there, pop that there. There we go. Now I've never built, this is like a sarcophagus, uh, but that's more like ancient Egypt. This is more like a modern day sarcophagus. Uh, sarcophagus. Oh, I can't say that word now. And I can't remember how you make walls. Ah. I knew it was simple. I knew it was easy. Okay, and then we're going to put these here like so. And I want to try and create as much layers as of depth as possible in this scenario. Okay. So there we go. We've got that. Now, what I want to do is I want to take a stair and put a stair on each of the corners like so. In on there. Oh, this crafting table is in my way. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Now we want to get up there. Now we want to get up there. And I thought I did. Okay, so we're going to do a cheat here. Uh, I usually do this. It's slash game rule. I thought I'd honestly done it. Game rule. Do fire tick. Yep, that one. True. False. Okay, and what that means is that fire will not spread. Fire will not stop once you light something like this. The only way for this fire to go out is to extinguish it manually. But that will burn as if it was netherrack. And that allows us to do some really cool things. And I do this in all the worlds I play on, uh, apart from multiplayer servers. I don't do it on the multiplayer servers because it's not up to me on there. But I just think that you can use fire to create some really cool sort of like layers of depth and just use it for lights and torches. And to be honest, netherrack doesn't look the best. You know, it's not a really nice block, is it? This just allows you to do some stuff like that. So, uh, I'm actually going to want to make a bunch of slabbage. There we go. And how many stairs do I have? I only have six. Let's make some more stairs. There we go. And I'm thinking we want to probably put stairs as feet as well. And we will have other sort of sarcophaguses, but this is like the main central one. This is the big one, because this was the first hero. He is buried here. And a part of me is kind of tempted to do some other stuff here. Like, I'm thinking, what if we actually took this out and made this a bark block? Not a bark block, sorry, a log. Like, how would that look? See, I don't think I like it from this direction. But from this direction, I do. I think I want to just do that in general, just to see how it looks. So if we take out all of these and we pop these in. It might look better once we've got them all in. So, and this is kind of my creative process while I go through. I do like that, I do like that. It's got to be said, I do like that. I do indeed like that. I don't think it's bad. And we've just got to hop in here to get this final one out. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to put these on fire like so, okay? Um, that's not one. Like so. That's what we're going to do in the end. But for right now... I don't want to risk throwing blocks onto them. I don't want to risk dying. You know, I'm an idiot. I'll walk into it. I will inevitably walk into it at some point. Let me just get rid of those. Okay. So what we want to do is I want to bring this up like so. Over here. Okay. And this means that we've got to create some sort of front end. But... We can't really put it on there. So what I want to do is I want to do this as a full block. Okay. So we're going to take some blocks. We're going to put a, a block there. We're going to put a block there. And we're going to put a block there. And we are going to put a block there. We're going to put a block there. We're going to put a block there. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take this. We're going to break that. We are going to break that. And what we're going to do is we're going to raise this up one. This final fire here in the center is going to be raised up just by one. 
like so. I will then do the side. Okay, and then we can go ahead and we get rid of this. We get rid of this. We get rid of this. No, we can't get rid of that. Who said I could get rid of that? Whose idea was that? Yo, huh. Talk about trolling me today, guys. Telling me these are good ideas. Huh. What do you like? You knew this was going to happen. Right from the get-go, you knew. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop a uh, stair here and here. We're going to pop a stair here and here. And pop that back. Pop a stair here. Pop a stair here. Pop a stair here. Stay there. Block there. And we'll bring this block back in the center. And then we'll get some slabbage going here like so. And I think I'm going to deliberately leave that bit. Just to add a little bit more depth and maybe even add some depth there like so. Okay. And then we could have added torches here. I said I was going to do it. I, I called that before it even happened. Okay. Let's try not to set ourselves on fire again. And look at that. That, in my opinion, looks pretty good. I really do like that. Yeah, and th th this does definitely look good. And I think we could add some more stuff. You don't get sandstone buttons, do you? No, I didn't think you did. I would like to add some more detail to it. But it's also very possible that we could add, like, windows here. So we could see inside to, like, a chest. I mean, we could do that. Um... we do that, and that, we grab a bed, the entrance is over here so I would like the bed to be sat there, then we could put a chest there, we could put some stuff in the chest, we'll make a chest here like so, and we'll put a chest, make it difficult for me to place aren't you, uh, you know what, we could just... Like so, there's our hero's resting place. I would love a skeleton skull to put in the chest, but I don't think we've got one. And I think I'm going to suffocate if I do this, but we're going to do it nonetheless. We're going to sleep in a dead man's bed. <laughs> we are going to sleep in a dead man's bed. There we go, look. Sleeping in a dead man's bed. Let's go and get ourselves some more bones. I think I've got some over at my uh, temporary storage hole. Just over here, saves me running all the way down to the skeleton farm. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm sure I do. Uh, yeah, cool. Okay, we could put his stuff in here, but I don't want to. Because I still don't have backups for the equipment we lost. But the idea is I will eventually get some better picks and we'll get some new picks. And we'll put his pickaxe and his stuff, what he had on him in here. But uh, we'll make a K and a C to resemble KC was lost. And then we can put his stuff in here. Uh, we, all of these will go in there eventually. Uh, his armor isn't going to go in there. I think I'm going to put his armor in a museum. Or maybe we could put his stuff in a museum. But uh, I would like to actually create a body. Uh, let's see if we can create a body. That looks sort of like a body of thingy, and then this would be the head. We'd put a uh, skull there, like so. Uh, that really doesn't look like a body, does it? What if I move that up? No. I think it was the leg was all, wasn't recoverable, so let's get rid of a leg. There we go. Oh, I know, I wanted to put uh, fence posts there. That was it. That was what I was going to do. And we'll use, we'll use birch. But I think we're getting some more walls in the uh, new update. Like I said, I haven't seen too much about it. I've only heard what other YouTubers have said in casual videos about their series. I've not actually watched an update video of sorts. I've just heard um, World's Night mention that 
we're getting sandstone, not sandstone, um, we're getting andesite stairs. Oh, there's going to be a bunch of new stairs in the game. That zombie sounded like he was right in front of me. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these in place and then we can actually see into the tomb and it'll probably look a lot better. Hey there, creeper. Nice to meet ya. Okay. So we can sort of see in the... You know, like sarcophagus. Da, 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 da. I'll tell you something, though. I'm in the middle of writing a new book. And I'm trying my best to... Uh, to use a word... I, I always like to use a new word in my box. Uh, I don't actually have any stone, do I? No. Uh, let's just grab a little bit of stone. I want to use the word iridescent. Which is a thing that happens when a beetle glows. It's a luminous thing that a beetle does. I just don't know how to use it yet. Uh, I think maybe we just popped a button there. We could pop a button on there, but I don't want to. There we go. Obviously, this isn't going to be the floor in here. This isn't the sandstone. It's not going to be sandstone walls. I don't know exactly what we're going to do for the ceiling in here yet. Or what we're going to do for the floor, in that matter of fact. I would like some braces going across the top, like wooden braces holding the, the roof up. I may just dig this out to sky level so we could put a roof in as and where we want the roof to go as opposed to thingy. But I'm thinking we'll have this main mausoleum and then we'll probably have like a bunch of additional things across the sides. They'll have chests, just like a double chest, so it'd probably be something like this. And then we'd have like chest. And then up here another chest and then up here another chest. Although we'd probably do like a bed and then a single chest. And probably have like a fence post here. I've not decided yet. But uh, this is going to be like the, the, the graveyard. It's going to be definitely a uh, like a tomb. Or maybe we could put, make a museum to, to KC the first. This I don't particularly like. I don't know how it would look if we were to put fences there. I don't like that. What about if I were to put some stone buttons up here and down here? See, the problem is when you start adding stone buttons, it's hard to stop adding stone buttons. Hmm. Maybe I'll come up with something a little later on. But yeah, I really kind of like that. So let's take a screenshot. With the final resting place of KC. And we'll probably copy that book that we've got. We've got a book here that has the law of what happened to this soldier, this hero. Maybe we'll, we'll copy the book over and put one in the tomb as well. It might be worth it. But then again, it might not be worth it. And sort of any interesting deaths that we have, maybe if we have a pet. Oh, excuse me, but about that. Maybe if we have a pet sheep. Maybe if we have a pet cow, uh, rather than just a herd of them. And they die. We'll pop, pop them in here. Maybe if we come across an enemy, we'll pop him in here. We'll probably. Uh, we'll probably put the first wither we kill. We'll probably put something to him in here as well. You know, maybe if uh, a subscriber would like a grave plot in here, where we do it? Maybe we could put subscribers in the grave plots and you could be forever immortalized. I'd love to do something like that with, with Patreons, but um, I don't use Patreon at the minute. I plan to when I get to a, when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to. But as of right now, I'm, I'm not too fussed about making money. 
I'm not too fussed about any of that stuff right now. I'm just enjoying being at a point where I don't have to worry about the content that I produce. I can pretty much produce whatever I want to do. Because, you know, like I say, I don't rely on this for a living. I rely on it to, to put a smile on my face, make me laugh, to cheer me up. And it does that. But yeah, I think that's going to call it for this episode, guys. So, if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel, and I really do appreciate it. So, please do leave that like. And click subscribe if you want to see more from me, guys. I'm Casey. I want to thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.